Hi, welcome back to Philbert Innovation. Just going to quickly chat today about the GBMI saddle pressure system, which forms part of our process here, uh, both in terms of the saddle health clinic and any bike fit, we, we, we can use this in that process. So I've got quite a lot of use, experience in using this. We use evidence from it to go to the UCI, the world governing body of cycling, and challenge them on the saddle tilt rule they used to have that was causing some problems with competitive cyclists. But what I use it for is, it's another string in our bow, another line of evidence to try and get people towards their goals. People come in for performance reasons, I want to go faster, be more powerful, some people are injured, and some people are in pain. And saddle pain is a common thing, now this really helps. Now pressure has to go somewhere, all right? So get away from this more idea of just removing pressure all the time is gonna make something better. You could argue exactly the opposite, that actually if you put more pressure for a saddle, it must mean that you're more comfortable sitting there. But there, with experience, what this particular tool, which is, uh, you're interested in this, it's actually designed for horses originally, and for the horse, so the saddle on the horse, because the horse is a very expensive thing. But it's been adapted by a great group in Germany to be used in cycling. They've actually brought out their own saddle range these days that some bike fitters use. If you understand what's going on between this and whatever bike fit system we use Retool, understand what's going on with that and the information that you give us during the consultation, it can be really useful. Someone comes in and they look like they're wonky, have an asymmetry, one leg long and the other, get left side of saddles all the time and this shows, as we'll show in a second, a massive increased area of pressure. He can help us come to the right decisions about what to do about it. And it's just a great thing to actually visually demonstrate to some people why they need to change some things. For example, the right saddle width, someone on too narrow saddle, you see all the pressure towards the outside and then when we change the saddle we see that normalise and somebody get the right support. If all the press is right at the front, it shows that maybe the saddle isn't too far back and isn't in the right area to support you. So it's a great tool, people love seeing it, but it's just one part of our process here that ultimately ends up in you arriving at a better evidence-based bike fit.